Welcome, and thank you so much for choosing to stop by the video today, fellow fans of Clash of Clans. It is your host, Galadon. It is the 241st installment of No Cash Clash of Clans. And if you'll recall, in our previous episode, I set the all-time loot record personally and had one of the biggest possible raids that anybody can achieve in the entire game. And then, right after that, I went out and found another base that was also massive, and yes, it's great to get a lot of loot, but sometimes there's a specific type of loot that you need more than others, right? Obviously, Dark Elixir is the hardest of the three resources to come by, so occasionally it pays off to do a little bit of Dark Elixir surgery. That is right, we are going to go back to the Dark Elixir operating room and in today's episode show you some amazing Dark Extractions and a fully maxed out level 75 Archer Queen. So let's get right down to business. We need a Dark Elixir. We didn't so much need the regular loot, the gold and the elixir. So we focused on the drills. And of course, we're also looking at, yes, the Dark Elixir storage, because oftentimes it has roughly 4,000 darks sitting in it at Town Hall 13 or 14. And right here, look, I mean, we've cleared all of the other loot bearing buildings, LBBs around the outside. Now we just need to get in to that Dark Elixir, take it and run. Remember, if you're using this army setup that I've shown you in literally hundreds of attacks, you're not having difficulty picking up a star whenever you need it. Getting 50% or the Town Hall, easy with this army setup if you have seen the videos. So, occasionally we don't mind sniping, we don't mind sacrificing a few trophies in the name of Dark Elixir. I don't mind giving away 26 trophies for about 9,000 Dark, and that is what we went in and did on a few different bases. But occasionally, kind of like, say, going to the dentist. Most of the time, you go to the dentist, you get your cleaning, and you're good. You walk away, and you're done for six months or a year. Every now and then, though, the dentist says, hey, your teeth are extra dirty, your gums need cleaning, and I know I really dislike the dental analogy, and I don't know why I went here either, because I hate going to the dentist, but it does remind me, there was a pretty funny episode a while back called Galadon After Dentist. I will link it up here at the top of the screen if you want to check it out. In the meantime, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. So the point is, most of the time, you're just out here trying to pick up those outside buildings. You have to clear those pesky gold mines and elixir collectors away from where your Dark Elixir drills and conveniently this time where the Dark Elixir storage was, even though I was out of Super Wall Breakers, one jump spell, two compartments, and we roll right in eventually to, what, okay. Eventually, after we get this little gold mine out of the way, here we go, they all go in and get wiped out by, okay, hold on a second. We'll get this almost, okay, a couple more. We're gonna, no, oh, now they're going, See, okay, these things happen. It's okay, you just have to be patient. You have a lot of sneaky goblins and eventually somebody will get in there and fi finish it off. Yes, there we go. Okay, and 300 Dark Elixir left. So it doesn't hurt to walk away leaving only 300. But okay, what I was saying was sometimes you need a more thorough cleaning. You need to get in and clear out the core. Get the stuff that's below the gum line. <laughs> There I go again with the dental, st uh, anyway, okay. So what I'm talking about here is not only going after the Dark Elixir drills, the Dark Elixir storage, but also the treasury may have some Dark Elixir in it and of course the town hall. Now in this case, we did have a friendly little gap left behind by our amateur base designer, Mark, Mark what? I don't know what his name is, but okay. You can see that there are some deployment spaces near-ish the town hall, and we're going to use those to get in after that town hall, the Dark Elixir storage, and the clan castle, just in case the treasury has a little bit of Dark Elixir. It turns out in this case, it's not there, but you never know, right? Okay, so we roll in. We've got wall breakers triggering bombs. Eventually, the CC, not a concern. Don't worry about it. The balloons will not see those guys until it's too late. So the clan castle first to go with the rage spell. Then they move over, trigger any traps next to the town hall. We send a few more. They go oh, the other way. Okay, you know, okay, fine. They have a mind of their own, and they're always going to go towards the nearest loot-bearing structure, so eventually you might have to do a little cleaning, and then there you go. Town hall goes down, and we got to wait just for a second here. Uh, okay, fine. Another elixir collector on the left-hand side, and oh, there's stuff on the right-hand. Oh, man, okay. But again, you're bringing like 80 sneaky goblins to every one of these raids. So it's never an issue of do I have enough? In fact, usually you can get by with about half an army being trained and still get the vast majority of the resources, or in this case, all of the resources that we came for, because notice we're down to 3,900 precisely. That is going to be only 
the Dark Elixir storage. And once that's gone, then we will have fully extracted all of the Dark Elixir and barely touched the rest of the resources, which, you know, sometimes if you have really full storages, you don't care. Maybe they're overflowing or maybe you just want to look cool and take all the Dark Elixir and leave the gold and elixir to the defender as a gift. OK, there we go. All right. Fully extracted, complete. And we are ready. We are ready to get our Archer Queen maxed out. And that means we will finally catch up to Gold Pass Clash, which has had a level 75 Archer Queen for quite some time. So it's been a little bit awkward, uh, kind of like the awkwardness of leaving it on the victory screen for way too long. And I have to continue to talk until it goes on to the next scene. Okay, finally, here we go. Okay, so we've got a free builder and it is time. We have full gold. Full elixir, full dark, okay, nearly full dark elixir. Our archer queen is at the magic number 72 and the cooldown is off for the hammer of heroes, meaning that that seven day cooldown is gone. We use the book of heroes to get her to 73. Then we have one, of course, in our inventory for the past week. We use that hammer right now, saving eight days and nearly 300,000 dark elixir. And then all we have to do is pop right on over to this shop and purchase the Hammer of Heroes. There you go, I've got plenty of League Medals. And uh, we're back home, level 74 becomes level 75. And who knew? I mean, free to play, oh, free to play. It feels so good to have a level 75 Archer Queen. You guys have to remember, I am the biggest gemmer in the history of content creators of Clash of Clans, and I never even imagined that I would enjoy playing a free to play account, much less it become my favorite account that I love to play the most. And wow, that feeling of accomplishment of maxing that Archer Queen at Town Hall 13, it is a significant feeling of pride. And I totally understand all of those other free to play players out there grinding through the walls in hero levels. It is more fun than I ever imagined. So shout out to all my fellow free to plays out there. Okay, now we have still the full gold, the full elixir. So let's get some wall upgrades done. And I believe we've got maybe one more minor upgrade to do as well. We spent as much elixir as we could. There we go. Then we're going to spend a little bit of gold. Oh, some wall rings too, because we don't want to get full on those. And yes, there we go. A 17 day wizard tower upgrade on the way. And now it feels good. I love logging out nearly broke because that means the attackers are not going to get much loot out of my base. Let's move on to the no cash clash status report. Where we find today, we did lose a yeah. few trophy. Hey, why are you cheering? Why are you saying yeah at that? Oh, anyway, so we're still in Champion League, so that's good, though. And gems, we are Ooh. actually the same number of gems that we had last episode. Then, of course, the biggest development, ah. the level 75 Archer Queen. Gotta love that right there. You guys could have seen it happen live if you stopped by the live streams. And our next goals are to let that pesky Whoa. Barbarian King get caught up to the Archer Queen. Thank you guys for catching up on No Cash Clash. For sticking around all the way to the end of the episode, that makes you the true hashtag Gallifam, and that is why I love thinking about it and appreciate every single one of you every single day. So get out there, make the best of the rest of your day, week, month, and year. Be kind to the people on Amazon and planet. I'll see you back here again tomorrow for more full attacks. First you're the godfather of Clash of Clans. Now you won't want me to call you doctor. You're some sort of surgeon. I don't think so. Hmm.